G'day folks, welcome to a little uh, impromptu tear down of a uh, somewhat mangled uh, 250 horsepower DC drive. Uh, this came out of a steel mill along with six or so others. Uh, this was the most complete one I found at the yard and uh, I took it home. There are numerous others which I've pulled parts out of but uh, didn't have the big um, SCR racks left in them so I kind of left them but yeah we've already rummaged a few parts out or they've simply been torn off and torn to shreds. The uh, poor old electrical panels completely ripped apart. The cabinet's crushed but there are still a lot of good uh, salvageable semiconductors and things like that. There's some big uh, de-energizing resistors that I've uh, or de-excitation de resistors that I've salvaged off a couple of drives. Uh, yeah that's a, um, a thermostat thing there with a probe. They're all air cooled. That's the SCR rack in there. I've peeled the uh, side cover off. Just pinch bar it till you break the uh, bolt points. <laughs> it got grabbed with the 20 ton grab, so did all of them. A lot of them are flat. Uh, this was one of the better condition ones. But yeah, there's a lot of heatsink mass. Big tranny, step down tranny, cooling fan, it's three phase but I've got a VFD that'll run that, it's a little axial uh, three quarter horse uh, cooling fan, two pole, there's a multi tap transformer, some caps, this is all fairly new stuff, RS components, this drive would have been manufactured in the 1970s. That's why I bought it. SCRs for days. Two, four, six, eight. And there's about 24 of them in there. Not a bad little score. <laughs> and see how old it is. It uses little spade terminal strips and things. And there's a bit of modernisation, like some of this stuff. But even that's an old telemechanique switch, which is, I think it's, it's been smushed. It's damaged. Whatever that is, is damaged. <laughs> Some stuff's been ratted out of it. Power supplies. One's dead, one's good. I don't know what he does. Percentage hysteresis and whatever else that is, probably a time delay. Double pole, double throw switches, always handy. A little adjustable heavy wire wound resistor and a small uh, trimming pot. An old back plane, gold finger, <laughs> wire wrapped gold plane, um, back plane. new RS caps and things. It's had a bit of work done to it. Being steel mill stuff, this would have been doing colour bond. This is out of the colour bond plant. But yeah, those SCRs are what I'm after. The big 20, 35 amp DC breaker. Look at that, 750 amps armature current. That's, that's messing around, that's not messing around. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I'm going to start undoing some of these nuts and get the saws all out and just basically cut the top half clean off. And, um, yeah, go from there. Got to be careful with some of this dust. They do have asbestos fibre warnings on the cabinets, and I'm guessing it might be some of this back panel. Uh, thankfully, I'm in open air at the moment, and, uh, yeah, I'm not stirring up the dust. But, yeah, you've got to be fairly careful with some of this old machinery, especially if it's been in a plant where asbestos has been pretty prevalent. Uh, like like blue scope steel, so uh, yeah, be careful. 
Oh, shame about that phenolic board. There's still a lot of good phenolic in that, but it's it's shattered. Oh well. That's what happens when a 20 ton excavator grab gets a hold of a DC drive. <laughs> Bad things. There's a lot of cables holding that in. It's moving though. <laughs> it came down on the shed roof. I don't know what was on the other end of that. There we go. Not anymore. Wow. Spaghetti. <laughs> oh, it's spaghetti. This isn't an autopsy, this is just electronic slaughter. <laughs> is just that far gone. I think you need to get your magic grinder out again. Yep. Okay, the magic wire cutter. Hey, it's the best wire cutter in the universe. God, look at this, the old fuses. Ow. Oh no, it's opening up. Okay, let's just Hold on it. Pitch it off the side. There we go. <laughs> now you need your magic wire cutter. Don't bother keeping those terminal strips, they're not even din. <laughs> There's our fan motor power cable. Ooh, keep, keep the little uh, motor stop starter. We'll just unscrew them, it's alright. It goes down to one of the fuses. Oh, that is the fan controller. Went down to one of the fuses. Yeah, that, that's the fan. This little well, guy on anymore. here. Trying <laughs> to cut the fan off. What a mess. <laughs> Butchered. <laughs> Time to get out your old wire cutter again. <laughs> choppy, choppy. That was simples. <laughs> wow, that's seen, eh, that's seen better days. Nah, it's mushed. <laughs> it's all been smushed. That card didn't survive. There's his little back plane. I think that card used to have a front panel. Yeah, that's uh, this piece here that's jammed inside. <laughs> it's got a nice little chrome handle on it, that's about it. Now, oh, it's a test point thing. You've got a little patch lead that goes into it somewhere. Old. It's got a very ca bad case of old. I'll have to get the flux capacitor out in a minute. <laughs> I'll take the LM741 off this no, I knew there'd be something on there you could use. <laughs> a little voltage break. Yep. 20 mic run caps. Yep. 440. Oh, they could be used to start. Oh, they're not high enough to be start caps. I do have a thing for exploding voltage regulators, so the more the merrier. <laughs> Phase failure relay. That's kind of cool. 
this back plane connected to nowhere, whatever that, that was connected to, it's been gone. Use. Wow, what a mess. Thankfully, I'd say most of those SCRs are intact. Maybe a couple of them got smooshed. as a fan. <laughs> there goes the grand wire. <laughs> yeah, there goes the cutting much. wheel. Too. Oh no! Murderer! I just clipped the ground bolt. <laughs> Unfortunately. That's cool. There's the rotor down inside. It does, it's a two pole motor, so it's doing 1340 RPM or so. I'm gonna knock that um, cartridge filter out and uh, see if it still turns. It's made by Aerofoil Fan Woods of Colchester. God, it's a really old woods fan. Yep, that's old. Because woods became flaked woods and then ABB fans and I think now they're uh, flaked woods again. I think they split off from ABB. This is this is definitely going back to 1970s stuff. Oh, keep, keep on chopping. <laughs> 750 amps. Field current. 15 amps, armature voltage, positive, negative, 600 amps. Sorry, volts. Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh god, you got the transformer out. That was easy. <laughs> That's called easy, mo easy mode for nuts and bolts. Rattle gun. Uh, that's going to be extremely heavy. Let me put the camera down and help you with that. Let me just pop it off first. Yep, that's heavy. Yeah. Man, this thing's just eviscerated. <laughs> it's kind of fun. But yeah, wear a dust mask when you deal with this kind of shit. Unless you want to be like me and uh, end up with uh, nasty uh, problems later on. It's made in West Germany. Do not remove this barrier. <laughs> These things, there's no copper in this thing apart from the cable. This blue stuff and the actual um, main wiring, that's copper. Everything else is aluminium. Or aluminium. Well, that's steel, that's not a bar, but still. The bars that connect to all these coils, these coils themselves, they're uh, just lacquered and wrapped aluminium. They're iny alley at the best. They're maybe worth 15 cents a kilo. They're just, they're worthless. Scrap metal worthless. Then, yeah, I'm gonna carefully undo all these and remove the rest of this um, fiberglass reinforced cover and, uh, or asbestos and whatever you call it, resin cover. I don't know what the asbestos warning was on these things. I'm guessing it's the mill dust from inside the factory. Cause this looks like, um, Fiberglass. I don't know. Either way, don't breathe it. <laughs> They're the main motor output cables. Nice and big. I wish this thing worked. They'd make an awesome DC power supply if I could power it. <laughs> you could melt shit. 
the de de excitation resistor. What a mess. <laughs> okay, well it's largely uh, eviscerated at the moment. <laughs> Not much left, I've still got to get this out, but uh, I just want the caps and a few other bits off it. Yeah, it's just uh, pretty good. I ended up hosing everything down to keep the dust under control. It's all pretty wet, but uh, everything's heavy enough to survive. Eye bolt. Um, yeah, transformer. 415, 246 kVA, step down. Fan. Give it a bit of a wash. Front panel needs stripping. And we've got gate drivers and other bits and pieces. And the SCRs themselves. Look at that. High current SCRs. There's 12 of them. <laughs> that cap's seen better days.